hello there uh, this is uh, going to be a star it's going to be a big i think it's an n class star it's it's got um, a ring round it of asteroids and um, and i think it's an m class star rather than a brown dwarf because primarily because of the color of it orbiting uh that star there and i think that star is uh, probably an o even though it's so blue I think it's a big, massive, huge O-class star. I don't know where this system is, but it's, it looks pretty funky to me. It's got quite a reddish hue to it. So that's what suggests that this is a little a, a little red dwarf and um, darkness of the, the, the bottom of the, um, the rings as they, as they start to deplete. And um, here's my purplish blue colour, the distance there of that star that I think is what this star's orbiting. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Here's a crate. It's gonna be a crate and I you can see I'm trying to draw those those angles. You start off with the your old fashioned wireframe shape <laughs> and then you can colour in the bits uh, that make it modern day. So and uh, just putting in the, the pinks and the and, and the oranges and into the uh, the front panels of the crate and the, the shadows it's, it's quite silhouetted that uh, the back of that spaceship, which is which is cool because then you've got that glare of the engines at the back as well when I put them in. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I spent ages and ages tweaking this crate, and then at the end of it, I, I spent uh, a similar amount of time doing asteroids. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, this is a uh, a Ploid ship, and Ploid is the present leader of independent dictatorship, so it's a minor faction. It's the Zencast faction. It's it's Plater. And uh, Plater is Joe Plater. He's uh, he's a streamer. He's a lovely guy. Uh, he's been involved with the game for ages. It's it's quite light-hearted, really. But I think Ploy is supposed to be kind of I don't know whether or not he's supposed to be a little bit evil. <laughs> it's, but it's not in actual fact. But yeah, they're an independent faction. I've mined in a um, an asteroid belt round a star before. There's a uh, there's a brown dwarf in three corvi that I occasionally used to mine at, and um, it's it's good. It's just really hot, and rather like if you're um, fighting at a nav beacon, I guess it's the same sort of thing. You, your ship gets hotter, and and if you do anything daft, uh, you, can, you can find yourself a bit toasty. But if you've got a decent setup ship, you're probably fine. But it's just quite bright as well. You're never going to forget which direction you're going in, which could be a problem with some in some resource extraction areas. I spent quite a lot of time um, when I was doing this picture trying to show the luminosity of, of the star's colour and the way that it, it affects all of the things near it. I mean, this crate's clearly got an orange paint job on, but the asteroids that are in front of the star, they are they're like almost glowing red, and and then they quickly become black silhouetted with like a, a red kind of penumbra at one side or the other and uh, and really just just the intenseness of the, the different colors of those asteroids and the, the that purple glow in the sky to the left of the main star just really gives everything that intense vibrance and it's it's using paint well it's pencil crayon that you put water on and I'm using kind of a ever so slightly dirty paintbrush with just water on and that that sort of combines some of the pigments in the chalk to create the, the illusion of uh, some of the rocks that are hidden behind dust. Because in the in the actual screenshot, which is kind of difficult to mimic exactly, you've got some of the, the rocks are in the distance and they're just fading from view. So I just want to try and capture that. And I quite enjoy doing um, asteroids really, even though they're massively repetitive. Anyway, that's it, really. Uh, so thank you for watching, and uh, I'll do another one in a couple of days. Bye.